In this video, I want to introduce you to discrete uniform distributions. Now, the word uniform implies that the probability of each event occurring is the same. So think of it like rolling a fair die. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The probability of each one of those coming up is one over six. So if you were to draw the distribution, so if we had our values of r along here, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the probability of the event occurring is 1 over 6. Then the distribution would look like this. So not a particularly interesting looking graph. But that would be our distribution. So how would I write that? Well, I could write that as the probability of x being equal to r is equal to, and in our case, the probability is always going to be 1 sixth for r is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 0 otherwise. So this is an example of a discrete uniform distribution. Now, if we want to do this generally, we write it as going from r is 1 up to n. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to n. So now, because it's going up to n, the probability of each event occurring is 1 over n. And so this is the way that I write down a general discrete uniform distribution. Now you've got to be a little bit careful, because not all discrete uniform distributions will start from 1. Okay, So it could be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, for example. And that causes a little bit of issue as we work our way forward and makes these problems um, on the surface uh, look like they should be very straightforward. But uh, some of the exam questions can be quite fiddly. Okay, So just giving you a heads up. So what we want to do next is we want to take a look at how can we find e of x and var of x for the discrete, unif uh, discrete uniform distribution for one of these. And then we want to see if we can do a little bit of problem solving with it.